Wednesday, happy Wednesday. Hope everybody's all right. I need to chat and offload as my own little therapy. And uh, so, like I always say, feel free to, to turn off. This will be self indulgent, you know. Um, but I've been putting it off for a while, and uh, I'm just going to try and unpack where my head's been at in the last uh, in the last few weeks, really. And I don't know. I feel like I had, um, you know, a shift in in the right direction, but I threw myself into the polarity of that, and uh, you know, <laughs> no end is better than the other. So yeah, um, at the start of this. Um, lockdown I guess you know um, I felt oddly free and it was so amazing for me you know um, I felt any expectations had dropped you know and that I could literally just um, sit back and be and and then so since I started uh, doing these paintings I feel like I've got entangled in loads more um, perceptions, <laughs> perceptions or judgments. I'm catching myself in old patterns, people pleasing, not, um, you know, not, I don't know. And I've had this sort of dichotomy all week. It's like, I've got some amazing soul support and, uh, you know, I've said on here for ages how it's like, um, I feel, I've always felt grateful, you know, that so many people are nice and, you know, there's there's resonance between us because I guess, we'll, you know, we're all the same. We're just, we're just trying to talk ourselves through these crazy times. Um, but for me, like, I was definitely guided to do these videos and I think it was to help accelerate my healing. Um, because that's exactly what these videos do and so anyway after feeling free enough and you know just sort of basking in sort of higher vibrations created by me you know this is the thing it's like we're always saying it's there's no one else who can make you feel good really you know I mean we can contribute to each other's happiness but um, it's a it's a vibration you know, it's not an end goal, it's something that can be achieved right now, and yeah, so, so we, we fuck ourselves over, we, we mind fuck ourselves, and yeah, so, so all of a sudden, you know, I'd gone from being super free, and so free that I found that I could express my idea and my interests and everything, into these paintings which I, I feel like is is I feel like it's gonna be something that I want to do forever and it's it came on so quickly that it's it shocked me a little bit and then you know obviously not wanting to disappoint and I've got you know I've got lots to do and there's only one of me and it, they, they take a long time to do you know uh, partly because I've not got the right stuff yet like I've ordered a, a huge compass you know so I can do um, perfect circles and you know things like that if you know it's blah blah it takes me a long time in and I'm enjoying it but what it's really made me aware of is that I took the leap from just being to doing which I'd not taken for years you know I'd not I'd just sort of um, I'd just been at home with the kids doing anyway, you know, you're just doing what you do is when you're a mum, you know, just to bring your kids up, you know, and just you know, get through life. You're always doing something, aren't you? So I was sort of stretching that out, you know. I didn't want to go back to any career that didn't fit me, didn't suit me, I didn't resonate with anymore. And I was just, you know, over the years of my kids being born, just trying to heal myself because they really were the catalyst for my awakening. And um, and so there's always, you know, lots of talk about shadow work and darkness and things like that. And I feel like what I did with my videos, what I was guided to do was just, you 
you know, just speak. Speak as if you're talking to yourself, but be honest. And so it's like, we can talk about shadow work and, and we need to know that we all have a different level on the spectrum of, you know, perceived darkness to light as well. My closet might not be as dark as somebody else's, but it's all <coughs> only relevant to us. So, so prior to me awakening, I was depressed, massively anxious, like the insides of me was just always on edge, vigilant. Um, I used to, you know, I described myself as like a spider, you know, I was on, always on edge, waiting to be attacked and to counter-attack, you know. Um, and I'd let go of my creativity and I'd let go of my love of writing, of singing, of music, and I was just using alcohol constantly, you know, just just about functioning but you know bladded a lot you know before I had kids it was it was my way of life and the only friends I had really were like going out and getting pissed mates and I didn't even really like them that much you know I just used to make new friends on a night out and and then stroll off you know whenever I've always been alone um felt alone never felt like I've really resonated with people in the flesh ever and I, I you know and may have kidded myself along the way that I have but you know that they're not here anymore so you know they, they clearly they didn't and um, never quite wanting to acknowledge that and then I'm skipping a bit here so again this is for my own therapy to let go of these burdens you know <sighs> So as I've been doing these paintings and looking more into astrology and understanding my own natal chart and, you know, the zodiac wheel and um, it's just been really interesting for me to uh, really... You all right? Hello? I can't open it. I know, I put it there so you couldn't get in. Are you all right? Are you going out or something? Yeah. Mom. Yeah. Let me just give you a little kiss. Oh, yeah. Are you going for a walk? Yeah. Oh, love you. Just kiss me. Oh, love you. See you in a bit. Um, should I start again? No, I can't be bothered. So, yeah, things like my Capricorn energies and my Virgo moon and working back to my childhood as well and going, you know, why are you like this? <laughs> why are you like this? What's, you know, what happened? How can we rewire, re-rue um, this perception, this belief, this programming within you that makes you feel a certain way. Um, yeah, so, um, so yeah, I get anxiety when there's a mess, you know, when I'm not in control of the environment, the, you know, everything I perceive around me. And, um, and so when I had kids, that heightened, and yeah, um, I think having acknowledged um, my perceived disappointment and my perceived imperfection in my own parents, um, when I had kids myself, um, it was like, right, you know, time to step up, time to change. Like, I cannot perpetuate these cycles, uh, these invisible, silent cycles a lot of the time. And I really learned that it was an energetic transference from, <clears throat> from parent to child. And I learned this with the help of some magic mushrooms, right, you know, right when my 
my eldest was uh, little. And uh, yeah, so um, so I had to pour through all of all of my childhood, all of my emotions, my perceptions of both my mum and dad, and and really acknowledge what it was that had broken my heart. Um, oh, I'm feeling a bit sad now. It's funny whenever I say the words. I broke my heart. <laughs> anyway, whenever I say um, those words, it makes me feel sad because I feel like that's kind of what happens to souls, you know. <laughs> Um, and I always feel, I've always said, I felt like my heart is, my heart was broken and my soul was fractured. And um, my life, since, since awakening, you know, I'm, I'm trying to reclaim them all back, you know. And I feel like I'm quite a, quite a way through, which is why it's, it's, it's not annoying when stuff like this happens. It's natural, you know, and uh, it's what it's what transforms us and transmutes the you know the density, the pain, the the feelings and stuff. So I have to allow myself more, you know, to do this and to not feel silly. It's like this is what I started off doing in my videos. I had no subscribers, no friends, no support, no nothing, and I knew that I had to do these videos you know to help myself but I knew that in being transparent and talking myself through that you know I might be able to help others it's not about being a smart ass you know it's not about making fucking money it's not about oh, it's just about you know being ourselves and being able to to be truthful you know with ourselves and um yeah, so I'm really grateful at the moment because I've, I've, I've recently, I've just really opened up to, to receive and I think, you know, maybe that's why I've got this influx of interest about my paintings and then, but then my other side, you know, my critics, my inner critics were saying, it's only because they like you, you know, like me or feel sorry for me or resonate with me or whatever. And you know that these nice souls they just want to help me <laughs> and that actually they, they didn't really want the pain <laughs> and so I or that you know that they'd receive them and then they'd not be like they'd not be happy with them or they'd be like oh, you know that's not neat enough <laughs> it's not perfect enough <laughs> and it's this thing this being perfect thing it's really weird it's like um, I've never had that as a kid. It's like, obviously, I, I must have had some experience where... And I always try and say I've poured through a lot, you know. And as a kid, I was sort of a small kid. This is sort of pre-10. I was treated as some sort of child genius, which wasn't warranted, I don't think, you know. Um, I've thrown these, like, expectations of, you know grandeur that you know I, I I had the possibility to step into and and I didn't want somebody else's expectations or ideas I've always been so headstrong and know what I wanted to do or what felt right to me anyway and so uh, I was always tried to be shoved into these paths certain paths you know throughout my life and I've uh, I've never done what I was told to do <laughs> And now, you know, I know that it's all been for a reason, it's all been the right thing, you know, just divine timing and there's, there's nothing we can do about it. We just have to surrender, accept and learn from the past, you know, hindsight, it's a beautiful thing. So anyway, I've just been feeling a lot of uh, shame and anxiety and self-loathing again, just being like, shit, you know, I thought I was... I thought I was over this, you know, a couple of weeks ago. And again, it's like, 
two days ago, yesterday, last night, catch me in half an hour again, you know, and I'll be like, woo, it's just, we have to allow ourselves to go through these, these, these parts, so, um, anyway, this is so scattered, I'm sorry. So since I've been busy doing all these paintings, I felt like um, I was disappointing my kids. Like they've said, because um, what we do is, Mark, me and Mark, because we've both got you know a lot on and we're both really creative and we have our own projects going on and shit like that. So because uh, the kids are home all the time now, so it's like, um, you know, we're doing like half a day each as being like the primary carer, you know, but we do intermingle, but this week, because I've had so much to do, I've not wanted to, you know, I've like wanted to just get on with the paintings, but I feel like I'm neglecting the kids and everybody else, you know, this martyr mindset, this sort of neurosis that wants to be this great mother, this perfect mother, is out there. So even though I'm shut in here, I'm doing my painting, you know, I feel like I should be doing this, I should be doing that, and oh man it's just so much brought up so much last week like I, like I've said in a few videos recently I can't sleep past 3am at the moment I don't know what's going on maybe it's fucking human resonance maybe I don't know I don't know but I cannot sleep past 3 so so I'm pretty tired you know in the day and um, I'm doing 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 and it, it was the wrong sort of move for me <clears throat> Yesterday, uh, after I'd had this, cry myself to sleep, acknowledge a few things, know that you need to talk about other stuff on your YouTube channel, I felt a release. It was like, you know, break down to break through, but there's still, you know, obviously I'm crying now, so there's a lot more that I need to go inward and, and try and uh, comb through a little bit more. But, yeah, so, right rewind you know years a few years whatever when I was um, consciously trying to heal myself with the uh, psychedelics and being bombarded with all these childhood memories and uh, unfairly as well blaming uh, my mum and dad you know it's like I think I always say I think that's the first sort of step to it it's like address the problem's not yours to begin with. You're an innocent soul, you know. I've been traumatized. Not my fault. And then you go, right, so now go throughout your life, review it, and take the responsibility and the acknowledgement for every part, you know, once you become conscious of it. You know, it, it allows you to see it in a different perspective. So, so you know, I no longer... Um, blame my mum for anything like that and the energetic um, distaste that I was always emitting towards her disappointment and you know just annoyance at weakness and all this um, all the toxic femininity that I witnessed and that I I felt against you know um, I released that sort of karma it feels like you know um, and yeah, forgiveness is done by us, it's done by us, and uh, it's not, you know, it's not like saying sorry, you know, it's not like that at all, you don't even have to say anything to the person you are going to forgive, it really is an energetical internal thing, so, anyway, so I forgave him, blah blah blah, so part way around, again, hero's journey stages, the archetypes of the fucking zodiac wheel, everything is a, a, a cycle, a journey, so, <clears throat> So anyway, and then I had, obviously had my kids and this horrendous anxiety, I don't know whether it was um, postnatal depression, like, you know, we, there's these labels for everything, but I didn't seek medical help or anything. Um, I, you know, sought to help myself with some plant medicine after a lot of research and it worked. So, um, but yeah, anyway, so fast forward to like this last week and I'm, I'm, I'm committing to doing something that I want to do, but my mind is still wanting to just please everybody else, and, and not even in a healthy way, in a toxic way. In a toxic way, I'm wanting to please everyone all the time. You know, like the boundaries, it's like boundaries. And I heard somebody saying the other day, the divine masculine is boundaries, you know. It's it's firm boundaries. That's that's the essence of divine masculine. And that's what a lot of mothers have trouble with. 
And it, I know for me, it's exactly what I have trouble with. It's like, because I was so turned off by my own parent and my, my parents' style, you know, and, and attention or whatever, energy towards me, I felt like I had to be perfect. And that's when this, this journey of, you know, renew, renewed anxiety came. Because then, you know, I wasn't drinking anymore, but I was looking after tiny babies, you know, I... I had, there's two years between them, so they were both very young together and still are, you know, they're only three and five, so, yeah, 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 so trying to manage all this and, um, but really, the, the, the real shifting point in my own awakening came for me when I acknowledged every part of responsibility and it was like, oh, you toxic bitch, you know, what, I, this week I've been so conscious. It's been I've been observing my own anxiety, my own crazy thought loops and thought thought forms. You know, going. It's like I'm I'm painting and I'm hmm, I'm still you know checking out. Have they had anything to do? Just some like interfering neurotic bitch, you know. And I think that energy of neuroses is really very typically feminine, you know, and. Uh, so it's what I'm. It's what I'm. I'm trying to address. Why do I need? You know, it's it's almost like a desperation. It's a desperation. It's not there, and it's it's what hinders. It's what hinders everything. You know, with with me and my kids. And by the way, I, my relationship with my kids is amazing. It's just you know I'm always so hard on myself, and what I really need to do is let go, let go. But uh, so boundaries in terms of like. So, for example, the kids, they just don't mess about with a dad like they do with me. And I know that everybody treats the mums different to the dads, and I definitely did, you know. I gave my mum all of the shit, because my dad wouldn't take all of the shit, and she would. And so there's definitely that part in me that's come from her, which is like, oh, everything's my fault, so I'll take it, I'll take it, you know. So anything's ever wrong, and it's like, you know, I feel like it's directed towards me, and it's like, ooh, ooh, ooh. So that fuels the victim mentality and the martyr, and you know they're all so uh, closely interwoven. So, so it's not on the outside anymore that I'm sort of like getting stressed and being like, oh my god, I'm so uh, uh, I can't sleep. Because uh, I used to be like that when I first had the kids. Oh, did you see that? That's cool. Yeah, it's more just like that. I I need to find the center, relax again, and realize that it's all the energy. It's not the words said, it's not the actions done, it's not the fact that, you know, I've made a brilliant lunch for you, or, you know, we've played hide and seek for 45 minutes. It's like, who are you? What's your energy? Are you welcoming and loving? Or have you always got some shit going on in your mind? Somewhere else you want to be, something else you want to be doing? And this week, I've been like that, and it's made me feel bad and guilt and shame, because I thought I was through that. I've been a selfish cow this week. I've been energetically, you know, I've, and I don't want to be hard on myself again, but I've been a little bit snappy. It's like my little girl said to me the other day, she was, when she was annoyed with me, cause, you know, she wanted me to play with her, and I was like, Can I, I'm just finishing off this painting, I'll be out of it. And she was like, I don't ever want you to paint again. And, you know, and these, these little things, they started getting to me, because it's like, I knew that I wasn't, you know, I wasn't painting in the right energy anyway. I would have been much better off meditating or sleeping or eating, you know, and not martyring on through, so, yeah, and then, yeah, like, when I put the kids to bed at night, you know, uh, and I, we always, one night, I do it one night, the dad does it, and we've always done that, and read him a story and stuff, so, and they love it, but they stretch it out and take the piss with me, and so it happened the other night, just before I cried myself to sleep, like, they were just taking the piss with me, and it was funny, it was funny, but then, you know, it wasn't, and it was like, right, this is me, this is my fault, because I have no boundaries, still, like, I'll, you know, they, they, I, the kids, they do love me, they do respect me, they do listen to me, but it's like, they still, you know, they'll come in my night, in, in my bed in the middle of the night, and it don't matter how many times I say anything, they do it, because I don't actually get up and put them back in their own beds, because my boundaries are weak, I don't say enough when it's enough, you know, I'll give them too many treats, too many sweets, spoil them, you know, I'm learning every day, but because of the nature of my energies in my chart as well, I think, you know, 
Uh, I'm, uh, I'm trying. I'm still carrying a lot of burdens, and I've just I acknowledged to myself it's like there's no good doing these videos, you know, and just being like, oh, just crack on, just carry on showing your paintings. And you might get some more bookings, and then you know you don't have to be a slave to the system and receive benefits, so you don't have to go back to cleaning for that old lady, or you, you know, it's like then I can be whatever, and it's like. I, I'm I'm shit. I have no business mind. I'm shit. So that's made me feel bad this week as well. You know, I still don't know my own worth, so I'm not very good at asking for things. You know, um, yeah, man. I've got so, so much to do. So I just want to offload that because I'm I'm working on it. There's there's so much that has come up in this last week. I discussed in that is. It's my paint rag and um, some hair and fluff <laughs> and yeah uh, and just as well just being like well your fucking clothes are shit your hair shit I dyed my hair yesterday fucking ruined it I've got, at least I've got orbs flying around me <laughs> yeah you know your hair shit your teeth are shit you're a fucking saggy old bitch ah and like I've always been like I've, I've not really been fat because I'm too anxious and I'm always moving around, but I lost my baby weight quickly and I was like, oh, yeah, 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 you know, I've got no... I'm pretty toned and muscly and that, but my bingo wings are, like, they're unreal. And, you know, I've just, just noticed them in the last couple of weeks going, like, you fucking old, saggy, flappy, you know, you loser. I've not been eating properly. I've been fasting just constant fasting and then eating when i'm about to collapse at night time so oh and uh, i had a and i shared this with the i i can say i've got three friends now i wonder if that's more than you have because i've never i've never had friends until this last this last few weeks really and i've you know we're whatsapping and uh, it's, it's brilliant. It's it's so amazing for me. I've never I've never allowed that. I've just kept myself to myself and yeah. So I'm glad that I waited so long to find you know the people that actually do resonate with me and that I enjoy and love to speak to on a level. I've never had that with anyone. Now I've got it with three people. So I'm like so grateful. And again, I think this process of meeting up with soul groups and things. It's just accelerating my transformation and I know that it's a long journey, especially for me. I knew that when I awakened, when I had these mushrooms the first time. Um, I think 2022 came into my head and at the time it was, I don't know, 2006 or seven or something. So it was like, not 2007, 2017, sorry, yeah. So it was like five years from the, the point of my first healing and I was like, oh, five years. So uh, I'll be, you know. So I know that I'm still in the middle of it. So I'm always aware it's like, I don't want to sit here and be like, hello, I'm a spiritual, such a spiritual person who's, who's I've, I've gone through the wheel, you know, and uh, I'm here as an enlightened being to share my art with you. It's like... Now I'm here, I'm, I'm in the shits with everyone else. <laughs> this week's been difficult. <clears throat> Lots of things are coming up. And uh, yeah, I've got to work through them like we all have, so. Anyway, I may as well show this. Yeah, I'm not trying to be professional about anything at the, at the moment. Everything inside me is screaming opposite. Just carry on, do your videos, you know, don't make this the priority yet you know feel good and they'll keep coming but so anyway this is for um a lovely lady but i was gonna kind of try and show like what they are because a few people have uh, again this is obviously it's not finished and it's not perfect by any stretch but um people have been like asking well, what are they because obviously it just looks like a load of symbols so and i am not an astrologer i'm learning as well but i just kind of want to show the structure of it and I thought what I might do with any future videos that I've done because um, MJ she said to me she was like better ideas to send the link to the interpretation rather than printing out a load of pages you know so uh, I was wondering whether to do a little video like this and uh, send the link but you know just trying to show a little bit of 
what I know, which is very, very minimal. But for example, this chart, this is the ascendant there. So this lady's ascendant is in Leo. That's the sign for Leo. It's Leo, Cancer, Gemini, Taurus, Aries, Pisces, Aquarius, Capricorn, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Libra, and Virgo. They're all solidified in my head now. And so <clears throat> these are the planets. I've not put the aspects in, and again, they do make a difference. There's 30 degrees in, in, each, um, in each sign, and so wherever the planets are, it is important. Um, and I've put the houses, the numbers of the houses there. So that's the first house. The white ones have no planets in. So in her second house, she has the sun, Mars and Mercury all conjunct very close together in, in Virgo, which is an earth energy. And that's why I've done it green. Um, and so all the houses, they mean something different. Like I think the first house is... is the I am, the ego, um, second house I think is like uh, possessions and money and things like that and so they all go around, all my planets are clustered in the fifth and sixth house um, and I think that's creativity and work or something but anyway you know obviously there's, there's more in depth uh, for everything and everything makes a difference where it's all placed so it's super personal, not the paintings necessarily, you know the, the information that you'll glean when you look into these yourself so anyway and then she has a, a Pluto there and her what the jazz is that is that Uranus that's Uranus I think yeah uh, in Libra down there um, and that's her mid heaven up in uh, Aries there and the I see well I don't really know what that one means yeah um, and then nothing in her fourth house fifth house here she's got a moon um and her neptune and a jupiter in sagittarius in fire um and then up here true true north node in capricorn and then we've got mars in leo there saturn in gemini and chiron in aries so and you can sort of tell can't you fire is obviously the red earth green air is sort of light and then the water so you can kind of get a feel of the energies and you know quite often it's not what you think it's going to be and um, like i said to you you know the more and more i look into mine i'm like mm. and i have to be honest with myself and um one of my biggest problems is expecting too much of everyone else or or anything of anyone else for that matter you know just always expecting everyone else to be where you are that's been one of my hurdles my whole life just like you know, perceiving attack because not everyone is my, me, you know, and, and my, has my intentions. And so, yeah, so many energetic lessons, you know. But anyway, so I'm going to try and unpack it a bit more. Also, I've been really trying to sink into deep, deeply into my own perception of um, racism. And I'm not sure if I'm quite ready to go through that yet, but... I'm willing to, you know, because I feel like this is what's been forced into me in the last couple of days. Like, don't pretend that you're sort of Picasso and you're not just some chump, you know, who's here with everyone else in the sea of shit trying to get through and just trying to, you know... Rawr. It's like, I think everyone's skeletons in the closets, things that we thought we'd dealt with are coming back up, yeah, so... I'm acknowledging this... Uh, this horrendously pathetic perception of perfection <laughs> that I have always laid on to myself. It's uh, never been anything but detrimental for me and I have to lay it to rest. So, um, so yeah, uh, I'm fucked. I'm uh, on the journey and uh, being able to speak about things helps me get through so thank you for being the witness <laughs> thanks for your support and um if you'd like a natal art painting please email me i'll leave it in the description box have a good day guys bye